When you ready, lads? Uh, the biggest turning point in the game was a cruel blow for us on the header that was missed by Yannick Molassi and the poor defending one minute later from the kick out from the goalkeeper and they were tuning up. That was the biggest turning point in the game. And I think that uh, you're then 2 0 down so early on. Um, and then you go and try and get back in the game um, because you're going to panic a little bit. And then we open ourselves up too much and uh, we concede the third from the counter attack. And it shows that Manchester City, no matter what you do, can break you down, whether you shut them down from the front, whether you. Whether you're dropping your own half and put ten men there, or you know whatever you're trying to do, they're good enough to break you down. And I think that was shown in the in the first half. What happened with us after two 0 was we got a bit dishevelled. We lost um, doing things as a team together. We put that right in the second half. We, in all fairness, we dropped Dominic a little bit deeper, and um, we got a lot better. And um, and then. Uh, as the game went on and tried to get ourselves back in the game, Yannick gave us a lift with a goal and, you know, in the end, there's such a wonderful side that, you know, for me, the second half was making sure we didn't get beat by any more and actually got ourselves a goal, didn't concede another one. Uh, went close a few times, Jenk said, uh, like I say, Yannick's miss, Leighton's free kick. And if you're going to play Man City, some of them have to go in. Um, but I, I was disappointed with the third and the second goal. I don't think there's a lot we could have done about the first. I thought it was an absolute brilliant piece of play and what a finish. But certainly the second should have been avoided. And um, defensively, we got caught on the counter-attack for the third. When you're seeing all that, you've gone with such attacking personnel, are you thinking at any point that maybe it was a, a little too bold? Yeah, but I mean, we were struggling for players in midfield today. We were already playing Wayne in there and Dominic, like you mean. Uh, ben, Benny hasn't played much, but uh, he was, and he'd suffer from tonsillitis this week. But you know, and uh, and obviously we were going to bring fresh legs on at some stage of the game, like you know. So do we play him from the start or do we play him from the beginning? So, but I'd say it was more around our our choices in the first half, and our choices became a little bit. Um, like I said, disorganised because we went 2 0 down so early on. I think that, um, you know, you playing a team at this quality, you, you can't afford to miss the best chance of the game. Everton now hasn't beaten any of the so called big six since the 4 0 victory over Manchester City here last season. What does that say about where the club is at at the moment? Says nothing about that we're trying to progress and get better. Because if you're going to win anything, you're better off winning home and away against the bottom ten, and that will give you more more points than winning against the top six. So if you want to win the league, you don't have to beat the top six. You have to beat the bottom ten home and away. So that's flummoxed you all, isn't it? <laughs> uh, and that's what you have to do. You're, anybody that does that wins the league. You can win the league without beat, beating all the top six or four or beating them each other all the time, as long as you beat the bottom ten home and away. That said, though, you want to be more competitive against those sides. Well, yes, but you want to do your, you want to do your your uh, your bread and butter games. You want to do the games that get you up there. That so you don't you don't you know if it's a win against the top four, it's a bonus. If it's a win against a team who's running away with the Premier League, it's a bonus. You don't want to be having to go to play them today and need the points. You know I mean so a game for us to go out and try our best against them and. Uh, and obviously, particularly in the first half, that wasn't good enough. But you know, you can't, you can't knock the players for how hard they tried today, and how well they recovered in the second half. And and you can only admire the quality of a team that is what, 13, 16 points ahead. And when when did that last happen, or has it ever happened? You know what I mean? Win the title next week. You know, so you've got to respect the opposition. For what they are, and uh, and they're far too good for everybody this year, uh, apart from one game against Liverpool. Sam, leaving on from that, have you ever played against the better sides in your long experience? Well, Man United, I think, uh, Bolton days, and probably Arsenal. 
and after that, no. You know, this team is, you know, you know, you try and you try and do something to stop them, and they, they can play around anything. You know what I mean that's what that's the beauty of this team, not just the quality of the players, in, and when they're in full flow, but but you know, try and stop them anyway, and, and you can't. You can't. You try and press them from the front. They play play round you and through you. Try and press them in midfield. They pass and move. You try and pack the final third, given goals and quality of ball in such tight areas and quality of finishing. Wow, brilliant. I have to say, gutted, but brilliant. When you plan to play six, is there one individual that you focus on particularly? Is it a team they've got a team that We didn't have eleven man markers, and we had got eleven man for man markers. I think, I think re, uh, really the 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 silver De Bruyne combination, but then but then the pace of of Sané and Sterling, you know, and the finishing power of Aguero, and you name it, and going forever. Like I mean, the quality of the the distribution from the goalkeeper, so you can't even shut him down. Even he comes out and plays. You know, so you know, in all credit to him, it's a great, a great added string to his bow. Like you know, but like I said, I'm pr really pleased we coped second half better and actually didn't fold. You know, I'd have been absolutely distraught had we not gone out and fought, and at least we fought and fought and made it, made ourselves look a bit respectable by getting the goal back and and losing three one. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.